science technology. It is a bit of weird for me to be here because usually the audience on my face more like the students or researchers, uh, not businessmen, industry guys. Yes, I do with government offices, but that the audience here quite excited me. I'm not sure whether you can understand the content I'm going to tell you. Okay, um, the title looks quite bigger, like a PhD defense. Eh? Very bigger topic than like a PhD because we get used to PhD defense. Okay, also uh, Charles said I should finish in 10 minutes. I'm not sure whether I can finish in 10 minutes, but I try my best to finish in 10 minutes. Uh, not yet? Uh, it's a French computer, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Hong Kong. Too cheap, too slow, too old. Okay, I'm going to tell you that I want to give you some spicy forever for you to think about. By the way, how many never know about water treatment? Where's water treatment? Please raise your hand. I'm very, I'm very glad most of you understand the, the, the waste water treatment. Okay, uh, otherwise I should give more time to explain. Okay, I think the overhaul, overhauling the system. What I'm going to tell you, some of the invention we have been working on over the last 10 years. Uh, someone with uh, Delft uh, University of Technology, someone we do alone. Uh, give you some idea about how can we change 100 years water wastewater treatment practice to a new platform. Think about the new slide produced the way it's possible, and no falling MBR is possible, uh, and whether it's the system for the next generation. Uh, all this system has been tried uh, from the laboratory to pilot scale and going to be applied in full scale in Hong Kong, China, elsewhere. I uh, hope that, uh, yes, I have a lot of businessmen talking about, but not yet decide which one we should go for. So therefore, I'll be here to think about if you guys are interested in my technology, in the Comtown University, discuss even venture capital, uh, any 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 idea you can have, you can come to talk to me, think about which technology you think is very interesting to you. Uh, that's the purpose I'm being here, and uh, give you some idea and what we are doing. And uh, not yet, okay, I have, to keep, I have to carry on, otherwise time is diminished, okay. So first one that we think about the number one model is right now in Hong Kong, you all guys are now living, working in Hong Kong. What's the unique of Hong Kong? Of course, uh, one system, two country, one country, two, not two country, one, son, one country with two systems. But forget, Hong Kong has a unique in water business. That is one city with two or three water supplies. Okay, that was just today published by our, our technology story. See what Tyler flashing with new technology by Dutch newspaper called the Telegraph. About, because now the European guys get getting very interested, Dutch guy. See what Tyler flashing has been with us in Hong Kong for 50 years. You can never, you guys never pay attention to that what is sorted. Until you use a finger to touch using a bio sensor to feel, oh yes, it's salt. It's not fresh water. Not American guys using fresh water, you would be, no. Hong Kong is the world only largest scale talking about 750 cubic per day of using seawater. How much money can you save? What is the problem with pipelines? What is the problem with the treatment plant? This is saving 20 to 30% of fresh water every day in Hong Kong. How much money you can save for Hong Kong country? How much money you save for China if they want to use it? How many much can be saved for European countries, for Japanese cities? And uh, what the benefits of using seawater toilet flushing? We can go beyond the benefits. Eventually we have a total change of the water treatment technology. Uh, so we talk about, are we going to talk about the concept? Yeah. One, two, three, four, new concept for you guys to, to discuss, to think about what could be the innovations, what could be the new, what could be practically possible, what could be the business opportunities, what is the incentive we can change the current 100 years, 100 years old practice of water supply and wastewater treatment around the world?
Speed up. I'm speaking very quickly now because the time is lost. Okay, the top topic we're talking about is from concept to the body style, pilot style, full scale applications. Um, some of the new, new approaches, new technologies developed at HKUSD, somewhat in partnership uh, there with the University of Technology. We now China facing great moment regarding the challenge, environment challenge. We have so much wastewater produced. So much, I don't see them, so much sludge produced, so much dio, uh, SO2 produced, sulfur dioxide produced, and all the environment is very, very polluted, uh, and massive aquifer is even threat our life, Chinese life. So therefore, we needed to have come up with some of the solutions for remediation, purification, control, contain, or mitigation of uh, water, air, land pollution throughout the China. Okay, next slide, please. Therefore, think about when we think about the new solution, we all don't forget the problem with us being healthy with us for many, many years. Number one, we use 30% fresh water, precious, valuable fresh water, just flush our toilet, to push our human dirt out of your home household, to treatment plant, to discharge, everything we do. And uh, secondly, that our water is sustainable, consume a lot of energy, 2.4 to 2.45 kilowatts per kilometers. Can we break down to two kilowatts? Wait for 10 years. Okay, and then, how about the sludge treatment? It hasn't been invented by British guy 100 years ago, but we're still using that old model. We convert 60% carbon into CO2. But we have a lot of sludge produced. The sludge we produce 1.5 1 kilometers of dry sludge per treatment of wind sound and sewage. No matter what you do. A lot of sludge produced. Where we can do? Can we do land application like European guys? No, China is banned already. We have a lot of heavy metals. Now how about disposal of sludge into landfill? It will be very super full in Hong Kong. It will be already full in Shenzhen everywhere. And what is the solution for sludge? The sludge in landfill will be generated out of CH4. Greenhouse gases. A lot of explosions. Okay, what is problem? The sludge is problem. And then, anaerobic treatment is good, it's sexy. For high stress industrial wastewater, how about for dilute wastewater, municipal wastewater? Can we speed up? We can recover energy, do something, but not yet. As a solution, we can make use of anaerobic treatment in smart way to suit for the sewage treatment. And also, what is the membrane reactors, which is the one of so-called high-tech technology in the whole water sectors, has been excited for many, many years. A lot of companies list up in markets and grabbing huge money, but what is the problem? Why a lot of cities never use it? Why no Japanese city use large-scale MBR? Why Chinese use? For what? So think about the root of the problem first. Okay, then we go further. Okay, I mentioned that the Hong Kong has a great model for sustainability of water resources because we use seawater. The seawater is cheaper, we use uh, raw seawater. It's not very high quality seawater. And uh, we use uh, electrochlorination uh, on site to disinfect the water. That's all, that's it. And go up to the service reservoirs, then supply to all 80% household in Hong Kong, except for you guys living in new territory. Forget about it. Most of us here, living, using, and all the buildings here are mandatory to apply seawater for cooling, not air cooling, okay? 
So we have a lot of water use, the cooling, a lot of water use <coughs> in sea water toilet flushing. You look at energy consumption, it's self-explanatory. It's so cheap for sea water toilet flushing. Compare with sea water desalination. Why should we use the desalination? Because we have close connection pipelines. We must use a super high quality water to flush toilet. Otherwise, your pipe connected, you will be getting cancer. You never know who kill you. But see what you can feel if you have a close connection. Immediate, immediate, you know something wrong. But if you lose secondary quality, low quality water for flushing toilets, you may get cancer. If close connection happens, then where the money for be? You can get a cancer. Now think about whether do we need this such high super quality water just for transportation, transport of your dust, your fecal matters to ocean via treatment plants. No need. Okay? And uh, then you can see the life cycle cost. It is true that for all the city techs in Hong Kong, we take 50 years, 20 years to transfer from fresh water supply to dual water supply. Take 20, 10 some years. But in China, we have a lot of new city going to be built. It's the best opportunity to educate the Chinese government. Why not have learned from Hong Kong use? Although they always look down from Hong Kong. No, forget about Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong, nothing, okay? But Hong Kong has educated USD. <laughs> Therefore, you can see the life cycle cost. Uncompared. It's half percent if compared with fresh water supply. Definitely the answer is here. Only the initial cost. It will create a lot of opportunity for pipelines, machinery, construction, because it involved city urban infrastructure revolution. Also, a lot of building can be produced. Okay, saving 140 million US dollar for Hong Kong every year just simply by using 30% fresh seawater replacement of fresh water by seawater. Every year we join such saving. Next slide, guys. And uh, then you can think about the, is that the saline water can, salty water can sacrifice the whole bunch of the landscape of water use recycling? My answer to you, no. We have a much smarter system already implemented in Hong Kong at International Airport since 1997. Never, do guys never know, okay? Which we can use as triple water system. So not the dual. We can use gray water to recycle, sea water, fresh water, integrate together for different purposes. Therefore, we can save 50% of fresh water, much better than Brisbane Airport. This is using our water, stupid ideas. Why not use natural water? We can save 52% fresh water demand at a much low cost, okay? Um, the system can be, of course, we think about, we can, number four, heavy, harvest of rainy water. But unfortunately, we are not in Singapore. The rainy water, we don't have a scoring water. What the depo deposition is okay, but it's not like intensity low. We cannot collect water water. water. So the three water enough can demonstrate not significantly sacrifice of water resources. If we can have a smart system for the world as a real model, talking about 20,000 cubic per day in our great airport, which has been with us for more than 10 years. Then, the sea was a great toilet flushing gave us great opportunity <coughs> to change 100 years water with wastewater treatment plants. Remember we have the wastewater treatment, there's something totally wrong. The, the current treatment is two cycles, the carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle. We use air to convert organic matter into CO2, not anaerobic. Then we use, ox, we use organic to do denitrifying to complete the cycle. So organic cycle, carbon cycle, and nitrogen cycle. That is a very expensive because we have probably a lot of air. Now, if we put the <coughs> sulfide cycle, we can use sulfide cycle to convert organic matter into CO2, which on the anaerobic condition. You will wonder why sulfide cycle, because sulfide reduction is much faster than lisa producing. It has been with us many, many years. It's a bad guy, you guys complain. But to me, it's a black beauty, very beautiful girl. It helps us do many things that we can reduce 
we can realize another big achievement. The product is a sulfide. It will be dissolved in water completely because a lot of bicarbonate produced push up pH to 8 point something and naturally <coughs> dissolve H2S in water become sulfide. The sulfide will further carry out uh, denitrification. So the system we call sunny process has been patented, has been trademarked, registered. It's called the sulfide reduction autotrophic denitrification. Nitrification. It's a hard word of sanitation. In Chinese, it's kill slot, sunny. Okay? So the process only is anaerobic treatment. auto trap denitrification, rely upon sulfide and the nitrification. It's an integral system. Scientific, nothing new. Scientific, nothing new. However, we integrate together, and then we go for, uh, slide, next slide. We go for pilot trial. After a few years, lab scale, we convince the government, give us money to try in near the airport, and uh, in Dongchong, switch pumping station. So then we can have very good results over two years. No any day we have sludge withdrawal. Remember, of course you have a lot of wondering, how about why sludge disappeared to where? Okay, let's go for next. The sludge, because look at the equations. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I have to use it. <laughs> if you like the reaction equations, because organic matter, it will oxidized by sulfate and anaerobic condition produce a very little sludge while conventional produce 60 grams. Okay? The second is that pH is produced and push up pH here, all the sulfide, you don't worry about H2S ordering, no problem. All they are all become quiet diving in water. Alright? There's no any other problems. Okay, then we have a auto chop denitrification, very little sludge. All these fundamental biochemical equations recipe telling us no way for sludge to produce naturally. Without the putting ozone, without the putting so ultrasound, without doing nothing that we can have very little sludge produce 0.02 kilo. What is conventional? 0 0.3, 0 0.4. How many times you can do the simple calculation? Conclusion to you, Hong Kong in the future, no any sludge incinerator necessary. If we're going to implement my technology for sure. And this one and the next one will be implemented in full scale, try next, by, uh, then we go further. We can do develop granules of SRP sulfur reduced bacteria, which we can have much faster compact by reactors for uh, sulfur containing wastewater, saline water. <laughs> and it has been done, going to be tried on much larger scale uh, in Satie, very soon, I hope very soon, but it politically takes a long time as for government to, to find the solutions. Uh, where is the best site? What is the cost of space? It could be a little bit exaggerated because we just based on the IWA, Interna International Water Association Bench Scale model to do the calculation. Easy, you can think about the 50% money you can save if it's largely gone. Do nothing, calculation. I don't and space-wise, we can build up pile types, tower types. And the footprint can be very small. Okay, so the normal waste treatment, you have 16 hours for water, another 16, 20 hours for sludge. At least the sludge part is gone. And the water side can be gone because sedimentation gone, primary treatment gone, you only have biological treatment. If it is going to be applied in China, <coughs> what happened? My conclusion telling you that the great national civil works project, diversion of water from north, south to north, can be scaled down by 40%. To me, it's stupid national projects. To so, so much energy, money, to, be, to divert money, water from south to north. What, why? What the hell we want to do this one? If we want to do is see what is toilet flushing around these coastal lines in the next 10 to 20 years, through the transformation.